All right then, gang. So in the last lesson, we saw how to fetch some data using this create resource function, whereby we passed in another function to fetch the data, returned it, and then we get that data right here. Now in the template, we logged out that data and also this loading property on the data as well. Now remember, to begin with, this was undefined and it's only after the fetch is complete that we get a value for products. So in this lesson, I wanna do two things. The first thing I want to do is conditionally output some template after we have a value for the products. So I wanna wait until we have that value and then try to output them. The second thing I wanna do is loop through the products because we have an array of data here and I want to output a bit of template for each product in that array. So let's start with the first thing, conditionally outputting some kind of template when we have a value for the products. So how do we do that? How do we conditionally output something in solid? Well, we have a special component for that and it's called show. So all I need to do here is use the show components and I'll take the closing tag and place it at the end of this div. So now we can place a condition in here by using the when prop and whenever this thing in here evaluates to true, then it's going to show whatever's inside it. When it's false, it's not. So I'm going to say when products like so. So when this is undefined, it's not going to show this content, but when this has a value, it's truthy, it's going to show this content. Now we can also place a fallback prop right here, and this would be some kind of fallback template. So I'll do a paragraph tag that says loading, and this is going to show while this is false. So it shows loading to begin with while this is false, but then while this is true or has a truthy value, then it's going to show this instead. Okay, so let's see if this works in the browser. I'm going to go over and I'm going to refresh. We should see a loading flick up for literally a split second because it doesn't take long to fetch the data and then we'll see the content. So refresh. Yep. I mean, we didn't really see it at all, did we? But you can kind of see something <laughs> flashing in. It is there, believe me. So that's the first thing we've done. The second thing I want to do is instead of manually outputting all of these cards for each product, I want to cycle through the products and I want to output a single card for each one of those products. So the way we do that in solid is really, really simple. Again, we use a built-in component this time called four. And this is a bit different from react because in react, we'd use something like products and then dot map. And then we could map through the products and return a bit of template for each one. This essentially does a very similar thing, but we use this built-in component instead. So we say four, and then we say for each right here, and we pass in what we want to cycle through. Well, that's gonna be the products array that we have. And then inside this four components, we use a function. So curly braces first, and then a function. And this function is going to fire for each product that we have inside this array. And we get access to each product right here. So I'll call it product like so. And then we just return a bit of template for each product. So what I'd like to do is return a card components. And inside the card, we wanna output the product data, but first of all, we'll pass the props through. So rounded is gonna be equal to true, spell this correctly. And then also we'll say flat is equal to true as well. Okay, so inside the card, I want to output the product image. So the source of that image is going to be the image property on the product. Remember, if we go to the JSON file, each one of these products has an IMG property, which is the source of the image. So I will say product dot image like so. And then for the alt, we will just say product image. It could be the product title, really doesn't matter. And then down here, we'll do an H1. This is gonna be for the product title. So let me say the class is gonna be equal to, and in fact, that probably shouldn't be an H1. We'll make it an H2. The class of this though is gonna be my-3, so margin in the y direction. It's gonna be font-bold as well. And inside the H2, we'll output the product, if we can spell it, product.title, like so. And that's pretty much it, my friends. So we have this four component. We say each product, so it's gonna cycle through the products. For each one, we fire a function and we return some template for that particular product. And the template we return is a card. So now in the browser, we should see eight cards because we have eight products. 
So let's go and have a look, and we do. We can see all of those different products. Awesome. So there we go, my friends, dead simple. We use the show component to conditionally show content based on a certain condition using the when prop. And then we use the for component to cycle through data and output some templates for each item in that data. Now, one more thing, you might be thinking, if you're coming from React, why don't we need a key prop right here and use some kind of unique value like the ID of the product for the key? And that's because in SolidJS, we don't need to do that. All right, so now we're outputting all of that data. I think in the next lesson, what I'd like to do is maybe add a link to each one of these cards as well for each product. And that link would go to a product details page for that particular product. Now, in order to do that, we're gonna have to talk a little bit about wrap parameters. So we'll do that in the next lesson.